don't just have a dream and then go out there and start cutting trails with a chainsaw and figure that you're going to have a ski area like this. You've got to have focus and determination. You've got to be really stubborn. <laughs> Jim Temple, in my mind, is a monomaniac with a mission. Uh, I can honestly say that but for Jim Temple, uh, what started out as Storm Mountain and ultimately became Mount Werner would never have come into existence. Jim said, we're going to build this and set about doing so. Jim Temple grew up on a ranch up on the Wyoming, Colorado border. And the name of that ranch was the Focus Ranch. And so Jim Temple was very focused. He was focused on getting this ski area started. It was very serious when he talked about this, his mountain and the work he would like to see done. To make it work, Jim had to invest everything he had. It was literally a bootstrap operation. He came to this mountain, put trails in, and kept the vision going on a shoestring. There was no money, there was nothing to be had. Jim begged, borrowed, and he had guys up there running cats clearing trails, and he was paying them off with stock in a corporation that almost didn't exist. Uh, and it was, it was his tenacity, his willingness to take those kind of steps that allowed that mountain to come into existence. Jim had a foresight from the ski industry and uh, in northwest Colorado and saw the mountain, the potential of it. What I have come to understand and fully appreciate now more so than ever is the unique and incredible vision that Jim Temple had when he went to create this mountain. Not only the, the mountain itself, but understanding where and how to build the runs, how to cut those runs. If you're going to build a ski area, you've got to have land to put your building and lifts on. And so he bought up a lot of this land from the edge of the Forest Service all, all the way down to the main road. Jim had a knack for selling his vision to everybody and get them to commit whatever they had, whatever resource, it be it money, be it a caterpillar, be it a, uh, an ax, the kids to come up and cut trees. But his sense was to get these people to go along with his vision and got it started. Well, Jim Temple was up here driving the bulldozer you know, knocking over the trees and trying to cut the trails and make these ski trails and this ski area uh, as you see it now. One of the best things he did was he chose to have a ski area that faces west. When you ski on this mountain in the afternoon in January and it's a little chilly, you're skiing in afternoon sunshine. That's unusual for a major ski area. Most of them face north where you ski in shadows in the afternoon. He spent his life earnings on that mountain. He just seemed to make everything happen. And I think it's really fascinating when one considers how those original runs are still being thoroughly enjoyed by virtually everybody and still playing a role in terms of the future development of Ski Town USA. He just loved skiing, and it shows on this mountain. I've got a picture of him on my wall where he's coming around a turn and he's doing this Royal Christie, which was very difficult to do in the old days with wooden skis. He loved skiing and ski racing. They had ski races here before they had the lifts open. Here in Steamboat today, the next generation of Steamboat Springs Winter Sports Club kids, well, where are they racing? Where are they doing the race training? They're doing it on the runs that Jim Temple cut 40 plus years ago. He was very much involved, he and his family was involved in the, the ski club and the town and the community. He's the most tenacious individual I've ever run into. Jim Temple represents what the, uh, the Colorado Ski Hall of Fame represents. We have to recognize those people that bring the ski industry to what it is today and uh, Jim Temple is definitely a part of that. No one could be more happy than me to see uh, he getting this honor to be inducted into the Colorado Skiing and Snowboard uh, Museum. We, we certainly appreciate Jim's contribution, his incredible vision in creating this, this great mountain. Jim, way to go for a long deserving honor. Jim Temple, it's been a long time coming, but it's worth the wait. 
Congratulations, you were in the Colorado Ski Hall of Fame.